Oh, but look at somebody and say, trouble don't last. <laughs> trouble don't last all way. Amen. Amen. After you have suffered, according to the word, it says, after you have suffered a little while. Amen. Look at somebody and say, things are going to get better. Things will always get better. You just got to give it time. Amen. Amen. And we've all been through things. The older you get, the more you're going to go through. But you got to know that things are going to get better. Amen. Y'all believe that? Amen. Well, amen. So here we are at the very end of 2020. Oh, and don't it need to go? Amen. Not that 2021 is going to be any better, but good gracious. Let's just end this one and see what happens. Amen. Amen. But I thank God for all of you. Amen. And thank God for Gerard who came out. Amen. Not too many people leave Detroit and come here. And then go back to Detroit. <laughs> but I thank God he's here, our brother in the faith. Um, we just thank God for him. So I'm going to bring him up in just a little while. But there's, there's something I want to share with you before we go into this new year. Is that all right? Yeah. You can pull this PDF up at adamantbeliever.com forward slash 2021 prayer dot PDF. And this is just a little different because instead of us, instead of me doing the actual focus prayer like we normally do, on third Wednesdays, I'm just going to show you what to pray when you get home. Can we do that? You're going to have the PDF. You're going to be armed and ready, but I'm going to explain this prayer. And uh, I'm just a little different. Amen. I, you know, when I was growing up, not in all the churches, but a lot of churches, you know, folks competed when it was prayer time. You know, who had the most elegant, elegant words and... All who could say things without taking a pause and, and stumbling and messing up. Who, you know, when you could just rattle it off with no mistakes, that means you were a mature believer. Amen. But, you know, I, I, I don't believe in that. And I also believe that we need to be taught how to pray. When they asked Jesus, how do we pray? Jesus taught them how to pray. And he said, this is what you say. Our Father, which art in heaven, I'll be thy name. Y'all know the rest, right? Hopefully. Well, he taught them how to pray. And so I want to teach you the same thing, but just pertaining to the things that we are dealing with now in 2021, there are just things that we can say in our prayer time, things are ways we can incorporate the word in our prayer time. Because if you're praying without the word, then I don't know what you're doing. You got to pray the word. Look at somebody and say, you have to pray the word. And then you got to pray until you pray. I taught y'all that just a few lessons back about the praying until you pray. That means you get down there until you start praying. After all your thoughts start wandering and after you start thinking about what you're going to eat that night, what you're going to wear tomorrow, and what your boss might say when you get to work, and how much you wish, you know, your wife would act better, and how much you wish your husband would disappear, whatever, whatever you're talking about. After all them thoughts go through your head, it's time to pray. Because as soon as you get down, the devil's going to blow everything your way. Won't he do that? I mean, he'll start having you thinking, and then you look up, 10 minutes have passed, and you down there and ain't said nothing. I mean, can, I, can we just be real in here? Hey, Amen. I would like to think that I am sanctimonious and sanctified and very close to the Lord, but sometimes when I get down there, I look up, and I'll be like, man, what have I been thinking about? Lord, forgive me. What happened? Because we are dealing with fierce principalities and powers, spiritual wickedness in high places and all kinds of things that are going on that have been unleashed on our earth. And so, I mean, these demons don't want you talking to God. Amen. That's why they're trying to give you a shot to make you crazy so you can't talk to God. And so we want to make sure that we enter this year understanding the prayer based on last year, the prayer that we need to be praying. Amen. Oh, it's just a little rain. Amen. A little rain. <laughs> hey, man, I told Gerard, you brought that. We was fine till you got here. Hey, Amen. So we're going to go through this real quick. Let me just share this with you. I think it's very important. Look at somebody and say the prayer for the new year. 
and I think this prayer will carry you through and you can revert back to it, but just keep it in your files. Man, my son came up to me today and told me, Jonathan, and told me, he said, Daddy, you know, I save all the PDFs in my files so I can go back and read them. And I, man, I don't know if he was trying to get something from me or what. But <laughs> it works. It works every time. He gonna get it, whatever it was. Yes. Yeah, you can have it. Yeah. Prayer for the new year. <laughs> Prayer for the new year. Amen. So, we're going to pray this. This is what you need to pray. We're not going to pray it now, but this is what you need to pray. Lord, give us more of you. This, Do you believe you need more of him this coming year? Amen. We don't have to know what's going to happen. We don't have to know what they're going to do. We know they're crazy, so we know anything is possible. We know they're pushing for communism and a total, totalitarian. How you say that word? Totalitarian. Amen. It sounded like I said it. Totalitarian dictatorship. That is what they're doing. That's what all this is about. Conformance. Conformance. Wearing a mask. Conformance. Believe in the news. Conformance. If, if, if you're an outcast, if you're an outsider and not believe in it, then you are the one that's targeted. All of this is a setup to get rid of Christians. So all of this is to set up a dictatorship. Why are they trying to set up a dictatorship for the whole world? I wonder, because they want a power controlling the whole world so the whole world can fight against Jesus when he returns. Amen. So we need more of you, Lord, in this coming year. We must have more of your will, less of ours. Help us to forsake our worldly accomplishments, our ambitions, and our what? Reputations, because these are the things they're coming after. This is how they stop this generation. They're going to make you, uh, uh, they're going to come after your worldly accomplishments, your ambitions, and your reputation. Those things aren't going to mean anything. And so you got to take your faith and confidence out of those things. You got to take strive. Look at somebody and say, get strive out your heart. Look at somebody else and say, strive not to strive. Get that out of your heart because that's how they're going to manipulate people. They're going to manipulate these folks through their ambitions and what they're trying to get. Help us to lose ourselves so that we can find you. Then you pray, Matthew 10 and 39. He that findeth his life shall what? Lose it. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. Lord, give us more of your word. This is very important. You have to pray this. You have to pray to break the power of the enemy to stop you from reading the word. The, power of, the powers of darkness will come up with every excuse possible to keep you out of the word and make you think that listening to me is enough. Oh, oh, I consider myself a preacher, but I'm not good enough to keep you saved. Amen. You need more. So when you, you, you have to break that off you, that you have to break it off. Somebody put it on you. The enemy sold it on you. Something happened to make you avoid the word of God. And you have to break that. And you, you, this year, you're going to have to do it because coming here and hearing me is not enough. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't want you doing that. I, you got to. Look at somebody say, you got to get into the word. Amen. You have to, and you have to develop a love for it. And if you can't, you have to break the power that's stopping it. Amen. So you got to help us to, well, you have to pray to help us to stay consistent in reading and digesting your word this year. It's not enough to just read, but it's got to go inside of you. Amen. Don't just pick up the Bible and read and then go to sleep. You got to digest it. It's got to get inside. Look at somebody say it's got to be in you. Amen. Amen. Don't just be a hearer of, a word, of the word, but be a what? Doer. A doer of the word. Keep us, Lord. Keep us desiring to learn of you and to grow from the watering of your word. Psalms 119 and 105, thy word is a what? How do I know where to go if my, if my pathway is not lit? So thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. This is real short, so y'all be good. Lord, give us wise counsel to help with better 
decision making. Wise counsel. Now, this means that you got to know how to listen to folks. And you got to know how to listen to folks when they tell you about yourself. Amen. You got to learn how to receive rebuke, chastisement. Amen. When you need to change something, you got to be able to handle someone telling you you need to change it. Amen. So you need to pray that. If you got a problem, every time somebody correct me, oh, I just start feeling a way about them. And I just went, I change churches. If you change churches every time you get rebuked, you're going to run out of them. <laughs> so, Lord, give us wise counsel to help us make better decisions so we will not walk around without the advice and leading of those that are mature in you. You need mature, seasoned believers around you. Amen? Amen. I'm going to tell you, I talk to the men all the time and heroes in here, and I call it equity. I believe ABC has a lot of equity. And the equity is what these men here have experienced, what they know. Some of them are mature in the faith, been around a while. You could get so much wisdom by just hanging around. By hanging around and just listening and learning from how some of these men who've been married 10, 20 years, 30. I'll be married 30 years next year. 30 years. I don't even look 30. And I've been married 30. <laughs> I got the Benjamin Button anointing. Hey Amen. I go the other way as I get older. <laughs> but, but there's equity in here. That's why God put you here. That's why he led you here, so you could get counsel, so you could get what you need, so somebody can deposit something. You never know when you're going to need it. You never know. I mean, you just, man, you have to understand the blessing of being around wise counsel. Amen? Amen. Amen. So you got to, uh, you don't want to walk around without advice and the leading of those that are mature. Help us to find the right fellowship where we can learn to get along with others, glean from, and grow with others. Amen? You hear, you, you hear how I phrase that? Help us to find the right fellowship. Because this might not be the right one for you. Amen? So you may have to keep looking for the one that you can glean from others and learn and grow from others. Amen? Take away all, oh, you got to pray this, or you'll never find that fellowship. You'll keep getting kicked out or leaving or angry at the fellowship if you keep these things. So you have to pray for God to take away all covetousness, envy, jealousy, and strife that will cause us to be toxic to others and keep us from those that can truly help us. It's a lot better for you to go before the Lord about yourself than somebody to come to you about yourself. Amen. And all you had to do was ask the Lord. He'll tell you if you're a giant turkey. Amen. He will tell you. He will show you yourself. If you humble yourself and say, Lord, you know, just too many of my relationships are failing. So is there something wrong with me? And the Lord will just speak. I've been waiting on this. <laughs> Sit down, son. It's going to take a while. <laughs> Amen. But I want it all out of me, so let the Lord take it out. Pray that he takes away jealousy and envy and you looking at other people and wanting what they have. Now, you can't be in a fellowship if you're like that. Because you're going you're gonna to envy somebody in the fellowship. You're going to want what they have. You're going to be jealous of them. Amen. And all it's going to do is mess your life up and cause you to covet and go to hell. Look at somebody, ooh, hell, I thought we was going to be in a concert. What in the world? Where the singing at? <laughs> but you need to quit being, look at somebody and say, stop being toxic. Stop being toxic. You can't take toxicity into 2021. Amen. Toxic. When I say toxic, you know what I mean. Amen. Every little group you start, you talking about folks. And always looking down on folks. Think you better than somebody and you know you not. Amen. So, Lord, take the toxicity out of me. 
so I won't be toxic to others. And it'll keep me from getting what I need, the people that can help me. Proverbs 19 and 20. Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise when? In thy latter end. It took an old, uh, older man to pull me to the side and say, brother, let me explain what's going on with some of these dudes that grew up with you. They're your age now. They're looking back and they're remembering things that they should have done. Things that you did that they didn't do. Things y'all talked about and discussed. And that makes a man in his older days begin to feel resentful and angry. Because when you get a certain age, it's too late to change stuff. So that's why the word tells us, hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise when? In thy latter end. Can I, can, can I preach just a little bit? Amen. Lord, give us more patience with those we love. Woo! Give us more patience with those we love, Lord. They COVID crazy. God, they mailing us masks. Sending them in the mail. Brother, I saw you on the video and you didn't have one. I thought I'd just bless you with one. They COVID crazy. COVID crazy. Amen. They needed a test before COVID for crazy. But Lord, give us patience in dealing with these television folks, these news watching and social mediaites and believe in everything they say. Oh, there's so many bodies around in Texas, so many bodies that there are ice trucks. Long lines of 18 wheelers refrigerated to take the bodies away from Texas. You know, folks have emailed me and told me that. People overseas, dude, what's going on in Texas? It's like, what you talking about? Check this commercial out. And I look at it and it's, they show trucks just coming because there's so many bodies. Like we just tripping over bodies in Texas. <laughs> folks believe that. And can't wait to get the vaccine. The vaccine that has the tracker on it. So that they can send the vial to the right demographic. They want to take certain populations out. This is about population control. Everybody ain't getting the same injection. Can I preach in here? Oh, if I put this on YouTube... It's getting deleted. Y'all better enjoy it now. We do not want to carry old offenses into 2021. Amen. There's some folks I'm not going to think about in 20 and 21. Brother, you had, you, was, you had your chance in 2020. I'm done thinking about you. As I enter into this new year, see my foot? As I enter into this new year. Bro, I'm leaving you behind. I ain't thinking about that no more. Amen? And there's some folk you gotta leave. There's some stuff, some offenses. We just can't take them into the new year with us. That's too distracting. You don't look at somebody and say, Jesus is coming back. Why am I thinking about that? Why am I thinking about foolishness and the Savior is about to crack the sky? I need to be preparing myself. I don't have time to think about what the devil is doing, what the elite is doing. All this satanic witchcraft, all this darkness, I'm tired of talking about it. I need to think about the light that the Savior has. The light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. So I'm not taking offenses with me. Look at somebody say, it's a new year. It's a new year. So we don't want to carry old offenses into 2021. We don't want to carry no old foolishness into 2021. Amen? Help us to let go of all malice and bitterness. We leave all strife in 2020. Look at somebody say, I leave, I leave. all strife all. in 2020. 
And we will not allow the enemy to bring it back up in the new year. When he bring it up, say, uh, 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 that's 2020. Look at somebody say, you just tell them that's old. That's old. That's old. We don't talk about that no more. That's old. Ephesians 4 and 31, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Amen. Amen. Lord, give us more conviction. Look at somebody say conviction. For the times we are out of line. Listen, you got to pray for conviction. If you're going to get past habitual sins, and junk that's been going on for many years, you got to get before the Lord and say, Lord, convict me. Now, when the Lord convicts you, it's going to feel a little different than you just feeling sorry. He's going to go down in the depths of your heart and show you why you're doing it. And you're going to hate what you see. But let the Lord convict you so you can be fully delivered from it. Amen. Can't be carrying sins in 2021, y'all. We don't know when Jesus is coming back. Look at somebody say, he's not stopping by the club. Like the old folks used to say, he ain't stopping by the club. He ain't stopping by the motel. Old folks used to say that. I understand it now. Amen. So you got to make sure you're living right. Amen. So, Lord, give us conviction for the times we are out of line. Convict our hearts and let us know when we are making decisions that will lead to a fall. Ain't no need of praying and you off in the sin. Dice in your hand. You asking for a seven and think of heaven. It's too late. We grew up, y'all, dice was like the worst thing. That was worse than adultery. Hey, Amen. The church will forgive you quicker for adultery than dice. What, you shouting us up, man, a die fall out your pocket? All the music will stop. What? Wait! The devil's cube just hit the floor. Oh, ba 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 That's so stupid. <laughs> But Lord, convict our hearts when we are making decisions that will lead to a fall. You know, some of the stuff we do, we don't know that it's leading to a fall. So we need God to convict us in the beginning. So we don't even go down that road. Amen. That road leads to the alley. The boots and the overcoat. I ain't said that in a long time. Yeah. Boots and the overcoat in the alley. Amen. <laughs> Keep us from falling, Lord. Protect us from the evil one, his spells, his hexes, his witchcraft, his assignment for us, and the demon spirits that he has assigned to us. You know you got devils assigned to you? Just because you named the name of Jesus, you're an enemy to Satan's kingdom. You hold the, look at somebody say, I have keys to God's kingdom. But he don't have his keys no more. So the devil's mad at you because you can get in. And he lost access. Protects us from the evil one, Lord. We are protected by you, God. And we will overcome the world. No matter what they bring this year, we're going to overcome it. Jude 24, now unto him that is able to what? Keep you from falling. Thank God he's there once we have fallen. Thank God he's there once we've fallen. But God is able to do what? Keep you from falling. 2021 has to be the year where he keeps you from falling. Look at somebody and say, grow up. And to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. We pray all these things to be so, and that you will be the light of 2021 that shines through us. Guide us, Lord, through this coming year and prepare us for your glorious return in Jesus' name. So take this PDF and pray these prayers, but I wanted to read this particular scripture, and then I'm bringing our guest up. 
Luke 21 and 34, take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness, cares of this life, so that that day cometh upon you unawares. It is my job as your pastor to constantly remind you that Jesus is coming back. So we can't get caught up in the cares of this world. We can't get caught up. We can't get caught up to where the day catches us unaware. We can't be worried about, look, somebody said we can't worry about this world. Because Jesus is coming back. So we have to take heed according to the word. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and do what? Pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. How many of you are ready to stand before the Son of Man? Amen. I want to see his face. Amen? Amen.